Welcome out to fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I will be reviewing the Masters of the Universe Master of Power Suction Leech. Leech was released in 1985 as part of Wave 4 of the Masters of the Universe toy line from Mattel. Leech was sold on a blister card packaging that fully showcased the figure. His weapon laid at his feet and his mini comic was behind him. Leech came with the mini comic Leech the Master of Power Suction Unleashed. On the back of the blister card, there was a fantastic piece of artwork featuring the character, which is one of my all-time favorites. There was also illustrations of his action feature and images of other figures that were sold separately. He was also released in the 1986 Evil Horde gift set with Mantena and Hordak, as well as a store-exclusive mailer two-pack with Mantena. Leech is definitely an interesting figure, although he doesn't have an exciting paint deco, with the majority of the figure being green. His facial sculpt and paint are really what make this figure so great. I like how the figure looks from the side, and the little bit of color stands out nicely against the rest of his paint. Leech has slightly different articulation than most of the vintage Motu figures. Although he cannot turn his head, his arms can move up and down, and his legs can rotate at the hips. He does not have the standard twistable waist, nor the power punch action, due to his action feature. His action feature was the ability to stick to smooth surfaces. First, you would press the button on his back, then place his mouth against a smooth surface. Once the button was released, he would stick to that surface. To release, you would simply have to press the button again. His hands could also stick to smooth surfaces as well. Leech came with a crossbow, which was made of a solid dark red plastic. However, it should be noted that the crossbow does not fit very well on his arm. I was able to find one variation of Leech. There's a version of him that has a black belt buckle and a bright red crossbow. However, I was unable to determine which company has released this figure. There was also quite a few comments on the internet about different variations of his crossbow, such as brown, white, or gray, but I was unable to find any mint on card figures with a crossbow that was not dark red. So if you have any information on which company released the black belt Leech, or any information on the crossbow variations, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. In my next vintage Motu review, I will be taking a look at Mantena. So until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.